Good afternoon, Jets Nation. Hopefully you're having a wonderful Saturday afternoon. If you are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. But if you're like, Jude, I don't even know what your content's all about. Why should I even bother hitting that subscribe button? Watch the entire thing, because I guarantee you, by the end, you'll make a decision that'll make me smile. Also, don't forget to hit the like button. The more likes I get, the more YouTube recommends my videos. If you assume that you've even heard of New York Jets News, why don't you go ahead and hit those two buttons. With all that boring stuff out of the way, let's talk some Jets News. So according to U.S. Stadium, the New York Jets are interested in cornerback Kwan Williams. In 2020, Williams had 22 tackles and a pro football focus rate of 66.2. Now, Kwan Williams plays slot cornerback. So does Brian Poole. So is Kwan Williams Brian Poole's replacement? Because I know there's been rumors going around saying that hey, New York Jets aren't interested in re-signing Brian Poole. And it might be because we want to sign Kwan Williams. Now, I think... Brian Poole is a better player. He's had better pro football focus grades over the last couple of years. He's just had better play in general than Williams. Um, but Williams is coming from San Francisco. He's been in Robert Salas' system for like three years now. Maybe that's why the New York Jets want to bring in Williams, just get in some of those guys, get in some of Robert Salas' own guys. And I expect to see that a lot throughout the offseason, seeing the New York Jets signing a ton of 49er players. And Quan Williams isn't bad. I mean, he had a fantastic rookie year, having a pro football focus grade of 89, which was like super, that's like a great pro football focus grade. Um, but overall, would I be mad at a Williams signing? No, I was just rather poor. So yesterday, quarterback Trey Lance from North Dakota State had a pro day. Jared Douglas was there and seemed really happy to be there. Now, obviously, the New York Jets are going to be interested in a quarterback this offseason. And Trey Lance is one of the top quarterbacks in the NFL draft. Do I think the New York Jets draft him? Absolutely not. But it is a good option in case maybe we trade back with a team like Carolina. In that case, I definitely expect Lance to be there. I and mean, hey, we can draft Trey Lance. Thing is, though, he's only had one full season as a starter in the collegiate area. So, in that case, is he NFL ready? That is the thing. I would expect a team who has already kind of an older guy to start, you know, have Trey Lance kind of develop in the NFL, and then, you know, he gets to play in year two. Maybe if the Jets are interested in drafting Lance, we would sign an Alex Smith type of guy to start for the New York Jets for a year, and then Trey Lance would come in. But either way, Joe Douglas was at Trey Lance's pro day yesterday. According to Ian Rappaport, the San Francisco 49ers aren't expected to be in the mix with quarterback Sam Donald. Honestly, shocking. I thought San Francisco was going to be super interested in him because, hey, he's a young quarterback. You have Kyle Shanahan as your head coach, and you can kind of just work him up. And he's not going to be super expensive. He's a quarterback, so he's going to cost some, but it might only cost you like a second-round pick and a fourth or a fifth in next year's NFL draft. Not super expensive. And you also have the Robert Sala and about half of our coaching staff connection to San Francisco, so you would just kind of think, hey, that would be a place Donald would go. But according to Rappaport, it doesn't sound like he's going there. So according to Ralph Acino, it doesn't sound like the Jets are interested in re-signing to Rob Basham. Basham started nine games for the New York Jets in 2020. He also had three and a half sacks and a pro football focus grade of 64.6 in 2020. Uh, Terrell Basham is decent, obviously at three and a half sacks, and he's I don't I think he's a bit better player than to be a backup. Now I really like Terrell Basham, but He's like in a kind of a weird situation right now because his play over the last few years has been solid and he's kind of not suited to be a backup. He's a bit better than a backup role type of player. So I think Basham's going to go to a team that's kind of in some salary cap trouble but needs an edge rusher as well and they can go ahead and sign a guy like Terrell Basham who's kind of like a low risk, high reward type of player. And the New York Jets obviously, you know, could we sign Terrell Basham but we could also get a guy way better, like Trey Hendrickson, Bud Dupree, Yannick Ngokwe, those type of guys. And for our last story of the day, 49ers wide receiver Kendra Bourne says that 49ers general manager John Lynch has been in contact with him frequently and wants him back, but if somebody wants to give me a lot of money, we'll see. Now, this really doesn't have too much to do with the New York Jets, but if the New York Jets do in fact cut Jamison Crowder, Bourne could be a guy to look into because he already knows the Shanahan system pretty well. It wouldn't cost the New York Jets a whole lot of money. And we could potentially offer 
more and more money than the 49ers would. I mean, he's a solid receiver. 49 receptions, 667 yards, two touchdowns, and a pro football focus grade of 72 this past season. Well, anyway, that's all the news I have for you guys today. Hopefully, you enjoyed. Hopefully, I convinced you to hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to comment down below your thoughts on today's video. I'm your host, Judith, signing off for now. See you.